I'm about ready to build an ark. Hey! You want to see what I found? It was in my trash. Always double check your trash. Uh, got some time to go through some of my uh, finds from uh, uh, the Indian uh, field. And uh, tons of shards. Oh my gosh, there's shards everywhere. Holy cow. If I found something in my shards, it's kind of cool. And I got a bunch of other stuff I was going to show you. Actually, uh, pass out some information that uh, I was uh, told. So uh, if you want to look at this stuff, this is cool. Come here. Spin around. Flakes, flakes, and more flakes. Look at all those flakes. I'm talking a lot of flakes, folks. A lot of flakes. I mean, it, you couldn't, uh, literally, in, in one area, there's probably maybe 30, 40 feet square, if that. I mean, it's just, I won't say covered, but they're just all over the place there. So that's why I concentrate on that one area. Look for the humps. You can see these humps really good in this light, right? I mean, they're, they're, you can feel them. It's just a great big bump. And right above that hump, and I doubt this will come out in the phone, but oh, there we go, you could see right where it was hit. And that created that pressure point which created that flake. So that's how you know these are actually um, human made. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But uh, uh, um, I went through all this fun stuff and I found a couple things. But before that, this is flint. Um, flint in its pure form. Um, and this is a rock that I found out there that I broke open a few times and uh, that is what it is It looks very nice and uh, you can get a lot of sparks off of it, right? You guys know that um, Apparently This is what some of it looks like out in the wild So you break this open. This isn't a great example But you can see just in the middle of it where that was starting to form, right? Can you just make that out? It's on both ends nice big rock like that all right would be full of this I'm sure this was a leftover piece that uh, they didn't uh, use anymore and this is what it looked like out in the wild here this part here all right and that's what it looks like inside but not only that you got the unpure form which is called chert and uh, this is a f piece of chert I believe um, there's a whole story that goes with this. Maybe I'll drop it in here and uh, let you guys uh, hear it now. But uh, Chert uh, and this flint uh, was mined in one area in this uh, in New York State here. And uh, it was around the Niagara Falls area. I want to say Ontario. I'm not exactly quite sure, but it was pretty darn close. Um, so, um, this I, 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 I'm just a little surprised about. Um, I didn't expect to find this. I was found, I actually found this on my walk out of the field. Um, so I did check it out, and this does look like it could be uh, either uh, an arrowhead or a knife. But again, this is chert. It's not the pure form. You can actually see a little fossil right above my thumbnail there. All right. This is definitely a worked piece. When I first found it, I was skeptical because of the type of rock it was. But after researching the chert and the flint and where it came from, woot woot. Um, this is another piece of chert. I do believe this is a perforator. But again, not positive. But this is uh, one of the other things that I was told. Um, they use every piece that they could. All right, And if there was something like this, they would definitely use it for perforating or even for um, skinning or... Just uh, trying to get the flesh off the furs. So that's kind of neat. Um, this piece, not quite sure. Does look rounded. Look flat on one end like a tip broke. And this end is sharpened. So this could actually have been a piece of a knife. Um, a blank. Is what they call this all right it's in the shape they just have to work on it right they would have to knock this big piece off here thin it out a little and then just start napping the edges so it looks like this edge was napped at one point if you can almost make that out but this is quartz all right so they used a few different uh, things but they're mainly used flint 
And going through all my flakes, I did find this piece. And this is a tip of an either arrowhead, a knife. You can see all the little marks on it, right? Where they actually sharpened it up, got all the little tiny flakes off the edges. And that's the other thing that you look for. If you don't find a bump, and all these pieces I went through and I rubbed, and I pretty much rubbed for bumps. And if I found a bump, it just slid aside because I figured it wasn't really a work piece. It was just a flake. But this one didn't have a bump. So look at that. That's kind of cool. So now we did find our first relic from the neuters. And also, going through my flakes, these, I do believe, are very light. They are not rock. They are very dark and burnt. So, I do believe we are into some neuter relics. So, nothing spectacular yet. Again, look at those bumps, look at those humps. We also found, I also found, another piece that looks like it was worked, I don't know. It was a shark, there was a hump, but as I'm rubbing my hand across it, it felt a little bit more humpy. So, it does have some little marks on her. But, uh, all those pieces, all those pieces. So, if you do find those flakes, yeah, stick around that area, look, look, look. They're bound to come out after this rainy day. I think I'm going to be heading back out and uh, going to try to find some washouts, which there's not much in that field. That field's got the creek running right next to it, so that's going to be our next spot I'm going to hit up. I'm probably going to take my wife. Um, did a lot of sifting, and that's where all these flakes came from, and that's where this came from. Very nice. Very cool. All right.